As a teacher, you want to do your best. You want to make sure you're checking in and you know where your students are, what they need help with, and you've got all these little individuals sitting in your classroom. So the bigger the class size, the harder it is to feel like you know exactly where your students are and what exactly they need from you next. I think we have to look at class size and how that can affect the learning of all students, not just you know the ones at the high end or the ones at the low end. I think we have to think of all of them. In a large class, some of those sweet, quiet kids can just get lost in the shuffle because they're not, they're doing what they're supposed to do. You know, they might be on track academically, but you just never get a chance to really know who they are. Or it can be where the students that are at grade level or above grade level fall through the cracks because I can trust them to do their own thing on their own, so I can always trust that they're working, but I might not necessarily be challenging them to do more or extend their learning. So many of them need that one-on-one um, -on -one interaction constant check-in with an adult, with somebody to, am I doing this right? Am I on task? Am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? Unfortunately, when you get the larger class sizes, you know, it's, it becomes easier, I think, for kids to, to kind of hide in the shadows. If you can keep that class size smaller, it really does help so the teacher can work with those kids that are struggling at the same time giving the other kids an assignment that's going to enrich and help them go deeper into the material and that every student loves or would love to have a one-on-one -on -one interaction with their instructor. But due to the fact that we have such exorbitant class sizes in some cases, that's not gonna happen. I have taught in the much larger classrooms too where we're, you know, 35, 36 students and it's just more difficult to help every student as much as you would like. What happens is when we fail to challenge those kids at the upper level and middle level, they, they start to maybe not make those gains that they could. The more attention you can give them, the better their grades, the better they do academically, the more they step up to your expectations. So I think it does increase the accountability of the students to be on task and be doing what they're supposed to be doing. The year I had 16 students in my classroom, it, I knew each one of them and their families so much better than I did any of my other class sizes. So the smaller the class is, the more we can hone in on each kid, regardless if they're demanding attention or if they're not demanding attention, and we can really meet them and, and figure out you know, an, an educational plan for them and, and a social plan for how they're developing.